Hey y'all, let me first apologize for my kitchen. Um, it's Christmas Day and it's a mess. I, as you can imagine, you know, you know how I eat on Tuesday. <laughs> you can only imagine how I fix up Christmas, right? And uh, I really, with all going on, I, I got this video started late. So let me bring you up to speed. I'm going to have uh, some uh, tenderloin um, and some shrimp. And so we're going to deep fry the shrimp. What I've done on the tenderloin here is... Uh, Put some salt, pepper, a little cayenne pepper, onion powder, olive oil, and then this, uh, get a good look at that, you'll see. Then I've uh, coated it with this minced garlic, like that, just stirred it on it. So, it'll be a couple hours before I, before I cook that, so I want to go ahead and get that uh, seasoning. Now, a lot of that garlic's going to burn off when we uh, put it in the pan, but... Um, I still think it'll be pretty good, but it's pretty simple. Um, olive oil, cayenne pepper, salt, pep, black pepper, and um, some garlic and some onion powder. And then these shrimp, when I was at the store, look at these things. Huh? That's like a, a little lobster, you know? And so I couldn't pass these up. We're going to deep fry them. They're already deveined. We're still going to have to pull the shell off of them and uh, get the shell completely off. Then we'll rinse these off, throw these in here and rinse these off. But man alive. I knew y'all didn't want to miss that. I don't get that very often, so we'll see. Let's hope these are good. While I'm at the store, I really trust the meat department I got them from, um, Food City here in Knoxville. They've got really good meat. As a matter of fact, that's why I went there yesterday. This one here looks like it might have been in the freezer a day or two, but, yeah, you know, we'll see. I'm going to cook them up. Um, I can't complain. Thanks to uh, thanks to Meg Taylor and uh, financing the grocery store trip yesterday. We're gonna be able to eat pretty good today. So let me get these. Uh, let me get these shrimp cleaned up, and uh, I'll take you through this whole thing at the end. I'll show you what uh, what I'm having for Christmas dinner. All right. What I like to do once I get the uh, shrimp clean, see I got them cleaned up. Put them in a bowl with some ice. Oh, see I got them cleaned up. <laughs> There's one that didn't make it. This one here is still trying to get away from me. Can't do it. I like to cut them if they they come pretty deveined a lot of them, but I like to cut them all the way to the back because you see, you still pick up a little vein back there, and uh, I'm not into that type of nutrition. So I get that rinsed out. Throw those in there. That's just awesome shrimp. I hope they taste as good as they look. Oops, more poop trying to get through. Look at that, and then uh. Just got some real lime here. Throw a little of that on there. A little lemon juice. And then some filtered water. Yeah, we're going to let them sit to order row just before we're ready to cook them. When we get ready to cook them, then what we'll do is take them out of there and pat them dry on a uh, paper towel. But uh, we're going to let that sit for a little while. It's not a marinade as much as it just takes any of the any of the fishiness out of it. So, wanted to bring it back, show you that stuff, make sure that uh, make sure I covered everything. When you're ready to drop these in the fryer, I'll bring you back. All right, we're gonna get these shrimp ready. Um, they've been soaking in this uh, lemon lime juice. Now, what you want to do is uh, get some paper towels, stack them up thick. Things are like little lobster tails, man. Whew. And just lay them on there. You want to get them real dry before we make the batter. And uh, going to the store today, I went, well, actually, I went yesterday. Today's Christmas, but I went yesterday. And uh, man, there was no horseradish. And uh, the, uh, the uh, breading selections, they were uh, running low, too. So. What I ended up going with was uh, this, McCormick's Fish and Chips Seafood Batter Mix. And the directions is uh, one cup of batter mix to two-third cups of water, and uh, that's a pound and a half of fillets. So we got about a pound of shrimp here. I figure that'll cover it. <clears throat> Let me get a bowl down. I'm really limited on space today. I'm sorry, but uh, I got a lot of cooking going on. Let me get a bowl down, and I uh, finish getting these uh, shrimp dry, and uh, we'll make up this batter and start getting these things cooked up. All right, so for this batter that I'm going to use, this uh, McCormick's batter, it says to use a cup of uh, the batter mix, 
to two thirds cup of water. I'll see how this stuff mixes it up. Still smooth, so <laughs> that may take a minute. I don't know. It's working. Well, that's what you're going to do with that. You're just going to mix it up until it's smooth. The deep fryer is still not ready. I still need a couple minutes on that. So, when the temperature comes up, I'll bring you back. We'll be ready to dip these things and get them in the fryer. That batter wasn't, uh, that batter wasn't hard to mix at all. It mixed right up. So, grease is up to temperature. Let's throw these things, these shrimp in here. I'm just going to throw them all in there at the same time. This is enough batter for it, so. Get up here. I've never had shrimp this big. I never even know they made them. I saw them, I was like, hey, you gotta have some of those. So we'll see. All right, I'm going to move this camera now over to the grease pit. Wish I could get y'all closer than that, but it's about as good as I can do. Like I said, let me down space today. Hopefully we can see these things frying. Got the baskets down in there just to help me get them out. I don't want the temperature of the grease to drop too much because they're so big. But I can't tell you how long it's going to take to cook these big ones, but uh, just keep checking them. Three or four minutes, give them a check. A couple of minutes from there, give them a check. So I don't expect you to stand here and watch them fry, but uh, let me get some done, put it in a bowl, and we'll come back in and uh, we'll take a look at them. Like I said, when I went to the store, I couldn't find any horseradish. There was some uh, creamed horseradish, but that's not the right kind. So I guess it's a good time to do a little taste test on red gold seafood sauce. Um, it's one of the few that they had left, but uh, that's what I had to do. And uh, I got some stuff I can kick it up if it's if it's not worthy. So, but uh, the shrimp are done. Ooh, look at those, would you? Look how big those things are. Huh? Man, they're like golf balls. Bigger than golf balls. Amazing. Let's give them a try. Let me get these fillets going. I'm bringing back for that. So I'll, uh, like I said, I'm finally eat Christmas dinner. We'll be back in a minute. All right, now we're gonna cook those fillets. I did put a little butter in there with them, mostly for the mushrooms, because I added the mushrooms to that too. So they've been uh, they've been sitting out for a few hours now. They're room temperature. But all I'm gonna do now is just cook. I don't want to cook the mushrooms right now. I just want to cook the flavors themselves. Take a little of that and put in there. Okay. Mm. 
I'm going to pick all either one. I wish I didn't. I wish I had just a little bit bigger pan on this one, but this is really my favorite pan to cook with. Frying pan, at least. So, now I cook those in half and half. Half butter and half olive oil. So, they've been marinating in olive oil. But cooking, getting them to cook up nice. A little butter in there with them, too. Like I said, I don't want to cook the mushrooms just yet. I'm going to cook them by themselves because they'll cook a lot faster than this meat will. Okie dokie. Don't just stand around and watch me cook. I'll bring it back when uh, we're ready to plate this stuff up. You see what I'm doing there. Alright, we've got, now we've got the mushrooms. We've got that same hot pan we just cooked that steak in. And come back. That's where you're going to need the butter. So, we're on a home stretch here. Let me finish getting these mushrooms sauteed up. I'll get everything plated up, show you how I'm going to do it, how it's all going to go down. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a second. <laughs> well, when it's uh, the King of Kings' birthday, you gotta you gotta really go all out, you know. I mean, what can I say? You see how I eat on a Tuesday, you know, being Christmas. I really uh, I really went all out on this, but uh, you know that's usually how I like to do it for a holiday. I'd much rather do this than go out to eat. So um, let's give these shrimp one last try. I kicked up that sauce, put about two tablespoons of horseradish sauce, the last two that I had in it. See. Mmm, mm, mm. mm, boy, that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. And then, uh, here, let's take a cut of this filet and see if it's worth a darn. See how I did on that. Oh, look at that. Huh? That's right on, right? That's how you're supposed to do it? See how it tastes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm sorry. I am in to do this to you, folks. Mm. Oh, that's right on. And then we got the uh, we got the mushrooms. Put those on there. I don't want to get too much of that garlic. Look at that, would you? Whoo, man! So we got the shrimp. We got the fillets. Oh, yeah! I almost forgot. These rolls, now I bought these rolls, I didn't make them, but what I did make is I made some butter. Now that butter's got uh, cayenne, garlic, onion, some secret stuff in it. See how that is. Mmm. Mmm, those rolls are good. Mmm, that butter's good. Mmm. And then, of course, we got the uh, trusty green bean casserole. Mmm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And uh, homemade mac and cheese. Now I'm real excited to try this because I use Swiss cheese as one of the cheeses in here. Oh man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well folks, I can't stand around and just... I gotta get going. This food's taking over my brain. I can't even think what I'm doing anymore. Hope you all had a great Christmas. This is what I had. Um, Hope you had something that was close to the same. Thanks for watching. Good night.